So when we have two points on a number line, it's pretty easy to find the distance between them, right? Let's say this is zero, and let's say we have a point at two, and then say we have another point over here at six. So we can find the distance between these two points just by subtracting. Six minus two gives us four. So the distance between these two points is four units. All right, now when we have points in a coordinate plane, it's not quite as easy. But you can sort of think of, you know, you're, you're going over in the horizontal direction by a certain distance, right? This, we're starting here at x1 and ending at x2. And then we're going up. We're going up, um, in this case, it doesn't have to be up, but you're going a certain distance in the horizontal direction. And you're going essentially from y1 to y2. And um, and because the two axes make, are perpendicular to each other, this is a right angle. And essentially, we have a right triangle here. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem. All right. So um, this distance that we're trying to find, d, is the hypotenuse of this of this right triangle. And if we call this side a and this side b, then we know that the distance um, that we're trying to find, d squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, okay? Now the distance in the a direction is this the, is the, um, is the difference between these two points. It's x2 minus x1, right? Because it's just the distance on a number line. And the distance in the horizontal direction is just going to be, let's see, I'll write it over here, uh, b is equal to um, y2 minus y1, okay? So it's just the Pythagorean theorem. We can use the Pythagorean theorem. The result is that d squared is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, we're just taking the distance in the x direction plus the distance in the y direction, squaring it, and we end up with the square. Now, um, we, oftentimes we, we would rather have just d, not d squared. So if I take the square root of this, then I get the distance. So this looks like a complicated formula, but it's it's not. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. That's all there is to it. And I don't even bother remembering this formula. I just remember the Pythagorean theorem. So this is the formula if you want to use it. Y one one d squared. All right. That's the distance formula for uh, between two points in a two-dimensional coordinate system, a Cartesian coordinate plane. So let's practice using it. All right, we want to find the distance between two points, negative 4, 3, and 2, comma 6. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to find the distance in the x direction. We're going to take the square root of all this, but we're just going to take the distance in the x direction, which is going to be the difference between these two points negative 4 minus 2, and then we're going to square it. Now, when it, now you can see this is going to be a negative number, but whenever we square a negative number, we get a positive, all right? A negative times a negative is a positive, all right? And then we're going to um, add the square of the distance in the y direction. So uh, 3 minus 6. Now, I know that's going to be negative, but we don't have to worry about it because we're going to square it, <laughs> okay? And uh, because and when we square it, it's going to be positive. All right, so we can just put that in our, into our calculator or or not. Well, you know, you can see here the distance here is is six, right? So you get six squared, so it's going to be thirty six, and then um, the distance here is it's negative nine, but when we square it, it becomes um, sorry, yeah, negative three. But when we square it, it becomes positive nine. Okay, so we essentially get the square root of forty forty five. But if I put that in my calculator, I get 6.71, okay? So that's the distance between those two points. So here's another one, just exactly the same. Example three is pretty much the same thing. So why don't you give it a try, pause the video, and um, if you want to see it worked out, you can um, watch the rest of this video. All right, so example three, we just got two different points here. But again, we're, we're going to do the same thing. The distance is going to be the square root of the square of the distance in the x direction, so it's 5 minus a minus 3. So 5 minus a negative 3 becomes essentially plus 3. So this becomes basically 8, and we're going to square it. And then we need the distance in the y direction. All right, so 
I can just take uh, one point and subtract the other. So 1 minus a minus 2, minus a negative 2, and square it. All right. So what you end up with is 8 squared, and then um, 1 minus a minus 2 becomes 1 plus 2, so that's uh, 3, so 3 squared. So 64 plus 9. Uh, what is that? The square root of uh, 72. But let's just do, just write it as a decimal. And so the, the answer will be 8.54. All right. So um, I'll meet you in the next video for the next example.